If an electrical conductor, such as a wire, e.g. a metal wire, cuts through, and notice the word cuts, cuts through a magnetic field, then a potential difference, which is another name for a voltage, a potential difference is induced, key word there, induced in the conductor. What does that mean? Well, let's take a wire and try and do this in 3D. And we're going to move this wire through a magnetic field. The magnetic field might be doing this kind of thing. So the magnetic field is going from a north pole over here to a south pole over there and we're going to move that wire through the magnetic field cutting these lines of flux and as those lines of flux get cut we will induce and that's a, a key word to remember induce a potential difference a voltage across the ends so if you link this up to a circuit and you had a, a sensitive ammeter then as it drops through the magnetic field and cuts through the lines of magnetic field you will see the ammeter register a reading you've generated electricity and this is the principle of how the electricity we use every day is generated it's called electromagnetic electromagnetic induction Now, if I were to stop that wire from cutting through the lines of the magnetic flux so that it was stationary, then I would not be cutting anymore. I wouldn't be cutting any lines anymore. And so the electromagnetic induction would stop. The induced potential difference would fall to zero and there wouldn't be any more current flowing in the circuit. But as soon as you start the cutting process again, that's when you start to induce the potential difference, the voltage, and then the current starts to flow if it's a complete circuit. So that's when you make a, a conductor move through a magnetic field. And by the way, it must move so that it cuts the lines. If it were to move along the lines, then there wouldn't be any cutting. So that would not make any electromagnetic induction. That would not induce any potential difference. It has to be going across the lines as we've done here. You can do it the other way. You could have the wire stationary and let's look at a, a wire end on. Um, maybe I can sort of do it in 3D as well. Okay so here's a slightly... okay that's better and uh, this time we're going to keep the wire stationary but we're going to drop a magnet, let's see what we could do, we could drop two magnets, there's a north pole there and a south pole here, so this will be two separate magnets and we could actually drop these at the same time as we held this piece of wire stationary and that would do the same thing because here are our lines of the magnetic field and as these magnets drop then we're going to get a cutting effect. The conductor or piece of wire will cut through, or rather the, the magnetic field lines will cut through the conductor and that will induce a potential difference which will cause a current to flow just like last time. So it's all about the relative motion. As long as you have some cutting of the magnetic field lines that's when you will induce a potential difference. Okay, so hope that's making sense. Let's go back to the flashcard. So if an electrical conductor, for example a wire, cuts through a magnetic field or vice versa, a potential difference is induced, and that's the key word you must use as along with potential difference, in the conductor. If a magnet, here we are, here's a magnet, is moved into a coil of wire, 
Well, we've got a similar thing happening, but instead of just one wire, we've got multiple sort of coils of wire here. And so the effect is magnified if we've got lots of coils. So if a magnet is moved into a coil of wire, a potential difference. is induced in the coil. It's the same idea. In both cases, if the conductor or coil forms a complete circuit, then a current will flow. In this case, the magnet is falling into the coil and its magnetic field, which goes from north to south, will be cutting through the coils of wire. And where you get a cutting effect, you get electromagnetic induction. You will induce a potential difference. And as we have a complete circuit here, we will create a current. A current will flow in this circuit. And the light, if it's a sensitive light, will light up. So this is electromagnetic induction. I hope that's made sense. See you in the next flashcard.